hello everyone this is mehdi and you are welcome to a new video in this video i will show you how to add testimonial slider in wordpress using elementor free plugin but before jump into the main tutorial please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon that's why it's inspired me to make this type of helpful video for wordpress users and wordpress learners as well okay let's get started very first let's check which we are going to build through this tutorial this is the testimonial page and this is the demo page and we are going to build this type of slider testimonial slider in our website okay very fast you can see this is a carousel review carousel and it shows image then the name and resignation then review star if you want then you can change this star to text this is the text and the slider dot if you want then you can use this type of arrow or dot if you want then you can use both of them arrow and dot Let's scroll down and this is another style amazing style actually if you want then you can use this type of style okay so we have to install a add-on that's why we will do it with a elementor free add-on so go to the admin dashboard and hover over on plugins click on add plugin search here element pack this is the add-on which we are going to use in this tutorial so click on install now activate After activating the add-on, maybe you will be redirect in this page and this is the add-on setting page. If you redirect to another page, then you have to go to the admin. So just remove this select form here and go to the admin dashboard. Then you can see left side in left side added option element pack. Just check in your left side element pack, hover over on it then you can click on element pack or code widget okay so click on code widget this is the settings page and you have to enable the widgets which you are you want to use in your website okay so you you have to ensure this code widget tab is selected okay click and select this tab code widget then search here review card carousel Okay, you can see this is the review card carousel. Click on this toggle button and enable it. Then save settings. Actually, it has lots of widget. If you want, then you can use it from here. Just select. You can see and you can enable from here. Or if you want, then you can enable uh, bulk. Just click activate all. Okay. So in this tutorial, only I will show how to add testimonial. Okay then let's check how can we use it in your website so go to the website and this is a blank page which i have built for this tutorial testimonial tutorial and edit with elementor then click on this plus icon and add a new section flex box box i want to give it fluid and select pixel give 1905 pixel i want to give some padding like top 90 top 90 then i want to give right 60 and left 60 bottom 90 okay now again i want to add another container to make it center and i want to give it like full width and select pixel give one two eight zero okay and it will be center maybe you will maybe you know how to use elementor flexbox okay now click on this plus icon and search here review you can see this is the review card carousel and we have to use this for review rating carousel 
so drag and drop here okay it's perfect uh, you can see very fast choose the image then name designation and review okay you can change it just click on this pencil icon then Adam Smith name you can change the name from here like I want to give Mehidi you can change this name from here this is the designation and the text okay all are changeable you can change from here then the additional settings click on it then column you can see it shows three column if you want then you can change like four column okay i think three is perfect so select three and you can increase or decrease the column gap i think 20 is perfect then item main side it's very important if you enable it then all column height will be same okay so it's very important uh, just enable it then show name you can show or height everything from here okay just show name then enable it or disable it if you don't want to use it then the job title just check every setting it's very easy maybe you will understand easily okay then the navigation or image position uh, image position if you want to give in top then select this top or you can change it left side you can see the image position has been changed then right side okay i want to give it like top so select top and this is the alignment center you can see i want to give it left side okay then the navigation navigation arrow you can see it shows already arrow if you want then you can use arrows and dot both okay both i want to use both then the you can change it center top left center is perfect then the carousel settings carousel layout you can change the slider speed from here like now five second if you want then you can change it from here then slider to scroll one if you want then you can change it okay the scroll down then you can see this is the mouse wheel and show height item hidden item you can see the layout has been a little bit of changed actually i don't want to use it so disable it and publish it then refresh this page okay you can see it works fine maybe if we add image then it will look more better so again go to the editor and just add some image okay i want to give like this image publish it repeat the page yes you can see it works fine then again go to the editor then you can change go to the style tab and you can change from here job title image size okay background and you can give border radius again go to the content and let's check from the navigation you can see additional settings just scroll down then the rating position again let's check from the content tab and rating position you can see before after if you want then you can give it after the text or before the text then this rating type is star if you want then you can change it like number okay this is the number and you can change this color from the start tab just check it maybe you will get everything from here okay 
then again just copy this section click on this pencil icon and content then carousel settings if you want then you can change the layout okay content tab then the carousel settings click on carousel then the overflow click on it yes you can see the style has been changed and it's very amazing publish it refresh the page yes it works perfectly okay so thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with me